Hi, in this video, I will show you how to move around and rearrange text in a formatted document. There are many times when you have finished a document and then you want to move blocks of text from one place to the other to rearrange text and present it in a different way. And so this video is about how to do that very easily and conveniently uh, in LibreOffice Writer and also in Microsoft Office Word. So I'm using version 7.2 of LibreOffice Writer and I have a small document. It's a sample document. And if you want to follow along this video, I have uh, given a link to this file which you can download. And this document has four sections which are telling us about the global environmental problems. Uh, the first is on deforestation and this has some subheadings which are appropriately numbered as 1.1, 1.2 because this is the first section. Then we have a section on global biodiversity and this also has a few subheadings. Then we, um, we have a section on climate change and you will notice that this section has a figure and that figure has been properly captioned and it is showing the, the captioning number as uh, figure one. And then finally, we have a fourth section, which is on electronic waste. This section on electronic waste, which has further subheadings, uh, which are numbered as 4.1 and 4.2. This section also has a figure, uh, which is appropriately captioned as figure two in sequence. So this is a sample document containing four sections, each of which has subheadings. So let us say we have completed this document and this will work only if the document is styled. It will not work otherwise. So in this case, you will see that all the major headings have been styled as heading one and subheadings have been styled as heading two and so on and so forth. In this document, we have only two levels of headings and I have used captioning. I right click and add caption to caption all my figures. So this is the structure of this document. If you are not familiar with styling, I did a video on styling earlier and I have given the link to that video in the description so you can follow that. So how do you move or rearrange text inside such a document? So you can do that quite easily in LibreOffice. You have to just expose the sidebar and then just simply go ahead and choose navigator. So if the sidebar is not visible to you, you can come to view and click on sidebar. So when you click on this sidebar, this sidebar moves out of view. You can come to view and click on sidebar and that sidebar appears again. So just come here and click on navigator. So because this document is styled, all the headings, they appear right here. And what you can do is uh, you can then just simply move them around. Um, so if you expand each one of these headings, you can see the subheadings as well. Let's say I decide that instead of starting my document with uh, the section on deforestation, I would like to start my document uh, with the section on electronic waste. So I can just come here and click on electronic waste and use this double arrow icon right here to move this chapter right at the top. You will notice that this section is now at the top. Our document is starting with electronic waste rather than deforestation. So all the numbers have changed accordingly instead of this, uh, which was actually previously numbered as four, it is now numbered as one. And this had a figure which was numbered as two, that numbering has changed and it is now figure one. And appropriately deforestation, which was previously section number one, is now titled as section number two. As we come down, if we were to go and, you know, visit the section on climate change, which previously had the first figure, this number has also changed to figure two. So all the numbering is automatically adjusted as you move sections uh, in this uh, navigation box. So say, for example, if I wanted to like reposition this back again to four, so I can just simply click on this demote chapter icon right here 
and then just simply go ahead and move it back to the fourth position so numbering has now changed back again to four and if you were to scroll down and have a look at the figure you will see that the figure is now no longer one but it is in sequence and has been correctly renumbered as figure two and if you were to go back again you will see that this is back again uh, to figure number one so you can do the same with subsections also. So if you were to expand this and if you can just go to the top. So this document is starting with section one, which is deforestation. And the first subheading is tree loss in tropics. And the second one is impacts of deforestation. I can just simply choose to move this to the first position. So just click on this and move this to the top. So the subheadings have been altered and they have been properly renumbered once again and you can bring this back again or take this to another subheading um, say for example i wanted to move this from deforestation to global loss of biodiversity i can just simply go ahead and do that so uh, you have complete freedom to rearrange various sections of a document like this quite easily once again this will work only when the document is styled and so this is one other great advantage of styling your documents. So the same is also available in Microsoft Word. So I have this exact same document opened up in Microsoft Word 2016. And this is applicable to other versions of Microsoft Word also, including Microsoft Office 365 and Microsoft Office Word 2019. So that same document is open here in Word. It is styled. All major headings are styled as heading one and subheadings have been styled as heading two. The exact same idea, the document is now being seen inside Microsoft Word. And you will see that um, the section on climate change has a figure which is captioned as figure one in sequence and the section on electronic waste has a second figure which is captioned in sequence as figure two so to move around sections inside microsoft word you can just simply go and click on view and then just simply open the navigation pane so just come here and click on navigation pane so the navigation pane opens up and while you cannot move pages like you could move slides inside PowerPoint or LibreOffice Impress, you cannot do that here in Microsoft Word. But then if you were to come to headings, if you were to click here on headings, you will see the exact same situation that we had seen in LibreOffice Writer. And what you can do here is that you can just simply uh, pick up a heading and just drag and drop it. So you can reposition it, uh, the numbering changes. However, in Microsoft Office Word, the figure numbers are not automatically updated. So this is one minor disadvantage in Word. So as you move something and change its position, so the paragraph numbering changes easily. So the numbering of the figures uh, does not automatically change. So you can move anything here, just catch hold of it, drag and drop. There is no promote chapter or demote chapter icon here. It's just simple drag and drop. So that's a great advantage. Uh, but the figures are not automatically updated. So if I was to pick up my section four and drag and drop it right on top. So my document now starts with section four, now becoming section one. And you will see here that the figure is, however, still labeled as figure two even though it is right at the top and the figure inside the climate change section is still labeled as figure one. So when you move sections inside Microsoft Word, the numbering does not automatically change. But you can do that by coming to the caption of the figure and then just simply clicking anywhere inside this caption and then just simply going to the home tab and then clicking on select just click on this drop down arrow right here and then choose select text with similar formatting so because captions are formatted as captions when you select this all captions because they have the same styling they are styled as captions 
uh, all caption headings get selected and then what you can do is you can just simply right click here and then update field so when you click on this uh, you will find that the the figure numbers have now changed and as you scroll down you will find that all the figures and all the tables are now correctly numbered so this is a great way of uh, rearranging uh, your text inside microsoft office word or libreoffice just simply go to the navigation pane and if you have styled your document properly then you can just click on any section and move it up or down currently libreoffice writer does not have drag and drop but that's like a really a small inconvenience and the convenience of having all your figures and tables renumbered automatically is probably much more desirable than just simply having drag and drop so this is how you can rearrange and move around large chunks of text inside your document and rearrange the positioning of text inside your document. Thank you very much for watching.